Hey guys, so I just got back from Aldi and I want to show you guys just a quick um, glimpse of what we got at Aldi this week. Um, this is just going to be just kind of supplementary groceries and a few extra meals for the week because we're getting low on our freezer meals. Um, so I did go and I picked up some stuff and I just wanted to show you guys. Um, like I said before, not all of this is 100% safe for Ty because right now we're at a point where he has so few safes and we're just trying to make sure that we keep um, the rest of the household healthy and since he still gets breast milk, um, it's not as concerning about things being not in his diet. We just have to make sure that we put things away in our kitchen in a way that they don't get into his diet accidentally. So I'll just show you guys just a really quick rundown of what we picked up and what I'm going to use certain things for. Um, I got a cabbage for, I'm going to make Num Num Paleo's um, Kahlua Pig and I use my, I make that in my Instant Pot. I also got some veggie chips from Max because he likes chips and I'm hoping that that will convince him to eat some more vegetables because there's just like vegetable puree in those. Um, some sweet potato chips at Michelle's request. Fruit strips for Max. He, those are really good on the go snack. Max got marshmallows this time instead of lollipops um, for his going potty treat when he poops in the potty. I got some green onions. After I make Kahlua Pig, it always has a ton of leftovers, so I'll probably make pork tacos later this, um, this weekend and use those. I got a couple of these um, organic pouches that have fruit and vegetable in them. Those are for t Max to take to school next week. I got pie crusts, and these particular pie crusts are safe. Um, I'm making an apple pie for our Sunday night. We're having a little Christmas celebration here at the house. I got the gluten-free uh, fully cooked chicken nuggets for Max. He really, he's kind of been on this hot dog kick, and I'm trying to get him out of it. Um, but it doesn't have any of the major really big... Um, allergens for Thai so if something gets dropped I don't have to worry too much about this but I like that it lists milk free egg free gluten free nut free wheat free and several of those are his triggers so we're gonna try these out I don't know if Max will even like them but um, it's a good little option to give it a go instead of a hot dog um, oh man worst parent in the world I got him these mini hamburgers because he is really on a hamburger kick and these have safe ingredients too as strange as it seems uh, wheat but there's no egg or soy or dairy in these so um, these are for Max to have as a snack it feels like every time we leave the house he needs to get a hot dog so I'm gonna just see if he can eat those at home blueberries because Max really loves berries and they're very out of season right now this Gluten-free brownie mix is also safe as long as I use an egg alternative when I uh, make them and I use coconut oil in place of the butter in, when I make these because it calls for two eggs, a half a cup of melted butter or oil, and two tablespoons of water. So as long as I use an egg alternative like banana or um, a flax eggs, then this is safe. Um, I got some chorizo because I like to put chorizo on my sweet potatoes. Bacon. Um, that's for the the um, Kahlua pig that goes, you saw you like simmer bacon first and then you put the pork roast down on top of it. Also in there is the, that's the pork roast. I'm not pulling it out because that little bag is super flimsy. And then garlic because in the Kahlua pig you poke holes in the pork roast and then... Um, put holes in the pork roast and shove in cl whole cloves of garlic. So I got some crushed tomatoes because I'm going to make chili this week. Two big cans. I got some of the Aldi tomato sauce. Their tomato sauce, uh, their pasta sauce, is not only safe, but it also has no sugar in it. So if you're doing like a Whole30, this is compliant. Um, and then everything else. Oh, the other stuff that I got, I already said over here. Um, I got potatoes because when I make chili, I put peppers and onions and celery and potatoes in it. And that kind of gives you that feeling of having a starch. And then I got, um, some apples to make my pie with. And 
I think that's about it. That's um, all I got at Aldi. But um, I'm going to put all this away now. I just wanted to give just a quick rundown of what I buy there. I do shop also a little bit at Kroger, not too much at Kroger. And I also shop at our local, um, like, Asian market, I guess you'd call it, called Sunrise. Um, I shop at all those places including Trader Joe's like you saw before because I feel like I can save the most money all of the groceries that I just bought were $62 and change so all of this will last us well through um, this weekend and next week on $62 and so I can't really complain about that um, I hope you enjoyed checking out what I got at Aldi and um, we'll hopefully have some updates for you guys soon don't forget to subscribe down at the bottom and click the bell icon so that you get notifications when we post new videos and we'll talk to you guys next time.